Hi everyone. Welcome to this tutorial. Together we will see how to configure authentication to Centurion using your identity provider and the SAML protocol. I'm going to connect to Centurion with an administrator account. I'll then go to the administration menu. Authentication. Then to the SAML tab. I'll activate SAML authentication and select Mixed Mode. Mixed Mode allows you to connect with both local and SAML authentication. Next, I'm going to enter the parameters for my identity provider. To do this, I'll connect to my identity provider. In this example, Keycloak, so that they can be entered into Centurion. So I'm looking at the SAML part, and I'm going to retrieve the Entity ID part, which I'm going to teach in the Entity ID field. Then I'll retrieve the certificate that will be used to validate the exchanges. Now I'm going to retrieve the remote logging URL part for the configuration of my Centurion client. To do this, I'll go back to the client section. I'll select my client and retrieve the URL. Now we need to select a user attribute that will uniquely identify the user. In my case, I'll use the email parameter. Next, there are two possibilities for logging out. The first possibility is to log out only from the Centurion application and stay logged in on the identity provider. Or, when I log out from Centurion, to log out from both. Here, if I logged out from both, I will also be disconnected for all applications using this provider. Then there's user management. I have two choices. Either I manually create users, one by one in Centurion, and only these will be able to identify themselves. Or I choose the option to activate auto-import. I select a contact template and enter the attributes returned by the identity provider for my user's email and full name. In my case, given name. I save. And now I'm going to attempt authentication using the SAML protocol. There are now two buttons on my login page. I click on connect with SAML and I'm taken to my identity provider. I'll use my user John Doe. And I'm automatically switched back to Centurion. But as I'm not part of any ACL group, I have no rights. I'm logged into Centurion, as you can see here, but I'm not entitled to anything. Let's see how to manage roles. In my provider, I've configured a set of roles for my user. He has the Centurion Access role and the Centurion Editor role, as well as a default role, the user role. I'll log back in with my admin account and create profiles in Centurion. Go to Administration, ACL, Access Group. I'll create a first group called Users, which will only have access to the real-time menu. And a second group called Editors, which will have access to modify the monitoring configuration. Next, I'm going to give access to the menu. I'll then give menu access to my users group, which I'll link to the ACL users group. And he'll have the right to create these dashboards, access real time and view reporting. I'll do the same for the editors group. And editors have access to all menus, right down to configuration.
Next, I'm going to set up the relationships between the roles from the identity provider and the ACL groups in Centrian. To do this, I go to Roles Mapping. I activate Automatic Management at the level of my identity provider. And the parameters arrive in the Roles object. If the user has the value user as defined in my identity provider. Then he'll be part of the users group. And if he has Sentry and editors. Then it will be part of the editors group. I save. And I disconnect. I reconnect with SAML. As I'm already connected to the identity provider, I'm redirected to Centrian. And there, you can see that I have access to the first three levels of users, plus access to configuration. Because John Doe is part of both users and Centrian editors. And if I edit my user, I can see that he belongs to the editors and users groups. If you manage the notification configuration with contact groups, you also have the option of linking groups from the identity provider to Centrian groups. So I'm going to create user groups. For example, for databases, DBA. I'll add a second group for system administrators. And a third group for network administrators. Now I'm going to manage the relationships in the SAML configuration. To do this, go to Groups Mapping. I'll activate Automatic Management. I'll retrieve the group attribute and if my user is part of DBA, he'll access DBA. If he's part of Adminsies, he'll be part of Sysadmin. And if he's Admin it, He'll be part of NetAdmin. We can see from my provider that in the groups, my user belongs to all three groups. I'm going to log out. Then log back in. And then, if I go back to my user, we can see that he's part of the three contact groups. As we've seen, we've enabled automatic user import. But perhaps you don't want all users to be able to access the Centrian application. For this, we've added the possibility of using a condition that allows the user to access the Centrian application or not. So I'm going to activate this condition management and use one of the properties I've created in my identity provider. Here, my user belongs to the Centrian access role, so he'll be able to authenticate to Centrian. So I'll use the role property and the Centrian access attribute. I log out. I log back in, and everything's fine. The user belongs to the Centrian access group. He can therefore connect. Now, what happens if he's not? So I'm going to configure a property that doesn't exist on my user. To do this, I'm just going to add a typo. I'm 
I'm logging off, and when my user wants to log in, he comes to a page telling me that he doesn't have access to the Centurion application. So if you enable automatic user import, you can validate users who need to access Centurion on a certain property defined at the level of your identity provider. Thank you all for watching this video. If you liked it or would like us to create other videos, please share it in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to meet the Centurion community, we've got the Watch platform. All the information is in the description of this video. Thanks to all and see you soon.